Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the GCD function. So what the GCD function does is it returns the greatest common divisor. So this is a very common uh, math type of a function. So this is a very common type of a math function you may learn in school. Uh, you can apply it here and I'll show you three examples of how we can apply the GCD function. So the most simplest example, here we have uh, the math function. So basically maybe we have a bunch of numbers and we want to find out what is the most common or what's the highest number that we can divide all these four numbers into. So the way we use the GCD function is just type equal GCD, open parentheses, and then select numbers. This number, comma, uh, this value number two, comma, value number three, comma, value number four, and then close the parentheses, press enter. So in this example, there's not a lot of numbers that can divide into this. In the second row, we have these numbers here, and it looks like there's probably gonna be a higher number that can divide into these. So I'm gonna go ahead and I use the fill handle down here, this uh, square at the lower right, and just kind of bring it down. It's going to copy that formula and adjust it for the different cells. And we can see here 20 is the highest number that can divide into these four numbers. And I can do the same for this last row here. Let me go ahead and bring it down, bring that fill handle down, and it sees 40 as the highest number. So that's one application of the GCD function. Another application that we can use is if we're trying to determine the aspect ratio of a screen. Let's say, for example, uh, I know that this as I know the uh, ratio for these numbers, but let's say that, for example, you get some screens and you want to get it to a certain aspect ratios. Most common aspect ratios uh, that you see on a screen are either four by three or sixteen by nine. And I happen to know this one, so I just kind of put it down. But if there's multiples of those aspect ratios, maybe you want to see, uh, you're, you're kind of like comparing screen ratios uh, to other screen ratios. And you want to, and they give you these pixel, these pixel numbers. And you want to see, well, what is it? Is it a four by three or is it a 16 by nine? We can use the D GCD function to figure that out. So first thing we can do is type GCD, open parentheses, and select the horizontal value, and then comma, the vertical value close the parentheses, I'm going to press control enter to stay in that cell, and we have 80. So there's our GCD value, so what the th next thing we want to do is divide the horizontal number and the vertical number by that GCD. So the first one I'm going to do here is equal the horizontal value here, divided by this GCD value, press enter, and that gives me 16. And the second thing I want to do is find out the vertical, so equals this vertic vertical pixel amount divided by the same GCD. So that, that is 16 by 9. So that, that's going to tell me this is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio screen. If I want to put that value into one cell, I can just use the concatenate function to combine these values together. So that's equal concatenate. I'll go ahead and just tab it to complete that. And it'll be this value, comma, and then maybe a colon. I have to put a colon in quotes. And then this value here. And then close parentheses and there we have 16 by 9. So you, you're probably very familiar with seeing something like that, 16 by 9, if you're seeing screen sizes or as screen aspect ratios, 16 by 9, 4, 4 by 3, you'll probably see something like that. And so if you want to find something like this out of a, the horizontal and vertical values, you can use the GCD function to do that. So the third example is more of ratio approximation. Let's say for this example we have 200 students and 50 laptops and we kind of want to find out the ratio of students to laptops. We can use GCD for that. We can type equal GCD and then I'll go ahead and just tab it and it'll give me parentheses. Now the first number is students and then comma the second number is the laptops. What I can do now, I, I, can, I can just uh, go ahead and put 200 divided by 50 and then I'm going to join it with an ampersand. The ampersand performs the same kind of function as the concatenate function I showed earlier. So you can do a bunch of ampersands or just use the concatenate function. So in this example, I'll just use the ampersand. It just joins uh, values together. So that, and then I'm going to put in a colon. Then I'm going to put an ampersand to join a, another formula, and that's going to be, I'm going to open parentheses, now laptops divided by the GCD close parentheses, press enter, and you have a 4 to 1 ratio. So this works out kind of nicely if I've gotten gotten kind of uh, nice round numbers, but let's say for example I have 2, 2, 2, and that. And so this ratio is technically correct, uh, 111 to 25, because my GCD is 2. So this proves a little bit difficult to communicate using this ratio GCD. Uh, let me kind of go outside of the GCD function. There's actually a, another type of formula that you can put together to get a ratio. So in this example, so that would be equal round, 
and I will go this number divided by laptops and how many digits do we want to round it to? Let's round it to the integer number so that'd be zero and then we're going to add the colon one so it's going to be ampersand and then colon one and then close parentheses press enter so basically it's a four to one and when we really think about this ratio this ratio may be more exact but a little harder to communicate and when we really think about it 11 111 to 25 is pretty close to four to one so if you do 25 times four it comes out to be a hundred so it depends which one you want to use. If you want to use something that's a little bit, I guess, more exact, you can use this specific formula to round out and give even a racial approximation. But there's the other examples here, example one, example two, that, that give you a more clear-cut usage of the GCD function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.